Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. Hey, it's that time of the year again. It's the season. It's summertime. And this is the time we get these incredible smartwatches that have integrated true wireless stereo earbuds in them. I got two new ones. This is an older one, the Lympho LEMD. We've already reviewed this but we haven't reviewed these. Make sure you watch both reviews before you decide which one to buy. Here we go. Limfo is back with an upgrade of their uh, original one, and this is called the T92, I believe. And uh, here's some of the features on the back, a 1.28 inch screen. We'll get into this in detail. First, let me show it to you. Inside the box, wow, we've got Completely separate uh, manuals, a Chinese and an English manual here. We've got the watch itself, QA kind of a thing. Look at that. All of this raised cards. Nice presentation for it. And in here is the actual unit itself. Wow. All right. We've got a box, most likely, with charging stuff. Yep. Little extra ear pads for the buds. We'll show you those. And a four-point charger here that lets you connect it in here to charge it up. Where do you get this one? From Cafago. 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 <laughs> I love playing with these company names. The Lympho T92, 1.28 inch IPS full screen, two in one smartwatch with Bluetooth earbuds, about $80. Check and see if we got a coupon discount for you. This is a sweet watch. Let's go over some of the features in here. A three in one design, in addition to one being a smartwatch, two, it's a charging case with two stereo earphones that can also work as an mp3 player with 128 megabytes of memory now that's something new isn't it it's got onboard memory for local music storage so um, you can listen to your songs all day and of course you got the connection wire that you can transfer that the songs over directly to the watch it's using the bluetooth 5 chip very important that gives you good Stability, easy pairing, long battery life. It delivers 9D sound effects and powerful bass without distortion. I'll let you know my opinion on it once I've had a chance to play with them. You got exquisite workmanship, hands-free Bluetooth calling. Yeah, so you can do all of that stuff. It's great. Body temperature monitor is built in this one. You can monitor your temperature all day. The watch will vibrate to remind you when you exceed the threshold in centigrade, 37.2, uh, and take good care of your health. So in case you're coming down with the sniffles or something, you can be assured that you can uh, get the proper care that you need from your elevated temperature. Health monitor, multi-scene application, three different menu styles. You can switch between all of them. You got 10 different motion modes for fitness tracking, ultra low power chip with 380 milliamp hour battery, two hours to recharge, and look at this, long standby of up to 25 days. You've got your music, your trigger for Siri or the Google thing. Um, yeah, countdown timers, count up timers. These are the parameters, 240 by 240 screen about 5 to 15 meter transmission distance. So it definitely should work with it on your arm and in your ear. Um, two to three hour charging, it says. A call time is a four hour duration. Working time about uh, two weeks or so. And there's the standby time again. And of course you charge the earbuds just by putting them back in the watch. So it really is a sweet idea to carry your earbuds with you on your wrist. Uh, that's the whole idea behind all of this stuff. And it works really well. So let's... Uh, dive deeper into it. We're going to have to charge it up, of course, and charge the unit. And then, as you can see, they're already on. Uh, whoops, sorry, off the screen. Uh, damn, look at that. Oh, can't wait. All right, we'll charge it up and start the review. Wait a minute. There's something else in the box. Looks like, looks like we're getting an extra glass screen protector. Yeah, that's glass. Wow, this is a high-end watch. 
While it's charging, we should take a look at the user's manual. Uh, again, it's the uh, English version. We have a separate one Here's uh, for China. Here's uh, the different touch controls explaining what the different buttons are and some notice. Um, charging description, music storage. This is how you're going to transfer music over here. Here is the tethering app. That's a V-band app. Okay, that's interesting. And the connection of the app and how you go about doing that. We have, there we go, a couple of pictures in here about the process that you're going through and use instructions of the app so quite a bit of attention given to making sure you can hook it up to the app it is extra effort to put these um, bluetooth bud kind of uh, watches together because you have to tether to the app for all of the stuff you know your step count and heart rate and stuff and then you have to also um, tether it separately for your bluetooth calling and music and all of the other kind of things so two different bluetooth hookups here it's an English manual on both sides, which is why they've included it uh, in, as two separate booklets in here. I'm just going to leave these on long enough for you to freeze frame them in case there's any more information that you need to know. There's all the features, stopwatch and clock settings and find your phone. I've got a calculator in there. That's cool. And there's the QR code you could scan, but we suggest you get it from the Google Play Store uh, and use the link in the show notes if you'd like to, to head over there to download the app. More stuff about the TWS earphones. Now, it's really good to study that part, and this is often what people need to come back for on the manuals as to how the touches work, what's a single long touch, what's a short touch, what's a double touch in the left and the right, and how do they work. Hopefully that's all covered right here in the manual. Little press here, and I do mean little, it doesn't go very far on the on-off button, and boom, vibrates and lights up, and we are on. Now take a look at this one. Look at the band on this. I don't think I've ever seen a band designed like this. It's, uh, I don't know, like... Uh, a Tron movie or something. Uh, I know that's a really wild. Uh, it's not removable. It doesn't look like, although there are screws here, but not the standard snap pin kind. And with that in the middle, yeah, I think I think you're pretty much going to get these particular bands. This is a very very nice watch. I got to tell you, I've played with it already, and it's incredible. You're about to see. First of all, got the twist. Uh, Light it up, we slide down, and you've got all kinds of controls. I had it in Do Not Display for last night. I've got it in the Vibrate uh, Off mode. Now we'll turn both of those on. This is where you'll trigger the um, call to your phone to wake it up. And this is your Bluetooth music uh, right here. Oops, went right back to the watch face. Uh, when it's tethered, it's going to you know, turn blue that you're connected to your phone, which I already am. Settings now takes you into this. About is your basic information, the T92 and the MAC address and everything you need for uh, setting it up. Theme are your different watch faces. We'll wander through those in a little bit. Let's pan back here. Um, we've got languages and you notice it kind of group, goes in a group of three at a time. Uh, it's English, Chinese, auto, couple of different languages. Yeah, all right. We got a good selection. You seeing all those? Basha Malayu. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Is yours on there? I hope so. Uh, we're on English, so that should still be there. Then, after... Gee whiz. Okay, where are we? Languages. Quickly go up. Style watch. Now, I've got two different styles. I'm going to switch here to show you, and then we'll pop back over to that one. That's my favorite. Uh, style one is your basic kind. You've got a backlight set for um, the brightness on this. I have it up all the way. Down lowest is like that. It's not the brightest watch all the way up, and you can see it's still not washed out on the screen. So it is a little harder to see outdoors. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run it at that level. Let's try that. But it's, it's okay for overall brightness. And then you've got the bright screen time, how long it will stay lit. And we can go up to 20 seconds and down to, what, 5? Yeah, 
Let's make it for 20 seconds so it's not timing out on us all the time. Come back up here. You got reset and restart and power off your basic settings functions. And we've looped all the way around there now. So I'm going to come back to the watch face and we've covered all that. That's your power level and your overall Bluetooth tethering. So you have music tethering and then you have Bluetooth tethering. Okay, got that down. Oh, I went over to the music player. Let's start so you know how I got there. I swipe back this way to the right from the watch face and we go into the music player. Then I swipe again and I get to this page, which loops around and has lots of stuff. Let's start on, I don't know. It, 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 it's not even going uniformly. Look at that. Wow. Um, how about here? What the heck? Uh, find your phone. Calculator has a calculator built into it, which is nice. You don't see that too often on these watches. Yeah, no commas or anything. I guess it'll do decimal points. We we'll divide that by something big. Yeah, you get your decimal points in it and probably plus and minus, but uh, no commas on there. Weather, it's going to give you the weather in your area. And I'm pretty sure you can change that to Fahrenheit if you want to from the tethering app and the QR code to download that tethering app. We'll show you the app here shortly. Okay. Overall settings, we just went through and looked at all of those. And then you get into these things. We've got heart rate, which is on here in green on a diode in the back. It's giving you a simulated activity chart showing the last static reading. And then it'll give you a reading up here of your, um, of your heart rate. And it also has uh, the setting for uh, continuous. Now it's there, but it's a pretty small display. So I wish, I mean, you got this whole huge screen. I prefer personally when they make the digits nice and big that you can glance at them and see them. But this is what they decided to do. So a few improvements. Now this is fun. They've got an actual onboard thermometer. And for that, I pretty much need to put it on, let you see it on. Um, and it's not going to have the accurate temperature right away, as all these thermometers do, unless it's an infrared type. It's got a... Uh, sensor in there that you need to uh, I missed one but that's okay for our demo um, you need to have the sensor in contact with your skin and all of that stuff so it's adjusting and we'll come back and look at it but you can have centigrade or Fahrenheit and it's giving it to you down to a decimal point then you got blood pressure it's showing you again a simulated chart I think I don't know um, up and down oh oh you can go back and look at your previous records. Okay. Or you can get an accurate uh, reading right now from here. Uh, that's blood pressure. Then you get into your calling. So I can place a call. A Bluetooth tethered to the phone now. No SIM in this one. You can place a call. You can check out your contacts and your call logs as well on here. And what's really fun, and I didn't mention this, in addition to having the Bluetooth uh, tethered uh, earbuds it has a, a super awesome speaker built into the watch as well when we get to music which is coming up you get to hear that and i'm really impressed with it so you can play music or do your calling uh with the uh watch itself and switch to the earbuds when you want to go private not very many of these have that combination really together so messages would be messages that would be pushed from your phone to the watch when you're tethered and finally we get to the music player here we are now before we start i want to show you i can play music that's on the watch or the phone or earphones that I can tether to it. This is your overall setting. So we have it, whoops, uh, it's switching to the earbuds right now, which is not what I wanted to do. I want to keep it on the watch. Notice there's some songs here. I've got volume control and it is up all the way right now for our demo and I'm going to play a little bit. These are all songs installed in the watch. In your Okay, you can loop it, you can stop it, you can replay everything, you can do all those things. And there's a ton of different songs in here, any of which, I presume, when you connect it to your uh, computer, you'd be able to see them in the thumb drive there and add your own music to them as well. So you have that feature and 
uh, like I said, you can go to phone and now it's connecting to the phone and it would play any music that I have set up on the phone, which I don't have anything set up to play right here. And then, of course, with the earbuds, we'll talk about that a little bit later. There's your uh, Siri and or your Google control. You can tap that thing and talk to and hear uh, back and forth. And look at this. It's got a voice recorder in here as well. And now I'm recording what I'm saying so we can check it out and see what it sounds like on playback. This is one of the few watches that isn't an Android watch that actually has a built-in voice recorder. Stop that. Now, how the heck do we get to the playback? Recording. Maybe it's going to be in the music player. Here you go. Now I'm recording what I'm saying so we can check it out and see what it sounds like on playback. Nice. This is one of the few watches that isn't an Android watch that actually has a built-in voice recorder. The speaker is in the knob. <laughs> Honestly, you see the little recess in there? And somehow, they've managed to squeeze this really nice speaker inside the knob itself, which twists but doesn't seem to activate anything. When it's on and you're back at your watch face, you press that and it'll take you right to your music player. And again, the music comes right out of out of there. Okay, we were somewhere. Where were we? We've done this, and we've gone through all of that, and we've played with the music and Siri and recording. So state is now your um, step count information. That's pretty much it. Last night's sleep time is available here. Not the breakdown. That's in the app. There's your blood oxygen. Now we're going to let it go. I think it's testing right now. And... We check it out. I don't know if you can see it or not. I can't see it in there. But I'm pretty sure it's using a green diode instead of the red one. Um, really should know that for sure for you guys. Because we have... Oh, I'm a little sweaty. Hello. Come on. Let's do it again. Yeah, yeah. You see the green diode going? Now, we're under the understanding from a lot of other watches and whatnot that having a red diode gives you a better answer. Um, but it is what it is, so I'm not going to say that these are accurate readings, but they may be reasonable readings. Uh, you'll have to test all of that, not just the blood oxygen, but blood pressure as well, and heart rate even, I would say. Check it out on your own to see what it looks like for you. we got a sports section now. We, I'm at the very end of it because I've been playing with it. Table tennis, so forth. All the odd ones they put at the bottom. But you do have riding, yoga, climbing, walking, running. None of these now have a GPS in them. So they're relying on step count to get your overall steps. You will get your heart rate reading at the same time. And of course, all this can integrate with the app. The nice thing is it does tell you the time on the screen as well, which is good to have that still available for you. Then you got the timer, which is a uh, quick and simple stopwatch, but when you leave it, it pauses it, so it's not running in the background, unfortunately. A countdown timer you can set up, overall alarms that you can turn on and set the time for. Looks like we got three of them in the watch. Find your phone, the calculator, and I think we've now looped all the way around again, haven't we? So those are all of the different... Um, apps and whatnot that we have in here. I come here and I'm toggling back and forth. This is turning us on and off. There's no buttons here because these are the earbuds themselves and the music takes you right into the music. And now when I'm playing, he says, oh, you know what? It's because we switched to the phone, right? I'm going to come back to the watch and I'm going to uh, pull out the earbuds. Now, they come out pretty easily they're in here magnetically they're not latched in here at all so theoretically a strong bump could possibly knock them out um, I advise that you put a little piece of black tape across them both and just lift the tape and pull them out when you need them because the last thing you want to do is have one of these fall out it's going to be really hard to get a replacement but there they are and with the in, uh, installed music in here, I can play them. I can switch them to the earbuds. And they automatically tethered when I pulled them out the first time that I use them. And so they are good to go. 
and now it's playing through the earbuds. And I will tell you my experience with these. They are really good. It's really great sound. It's good and loud. You can crank it up. You can crank it down. You have control of the volume right here on your watch. Like I said, you can replay a song. You can mix them up. You can do whatever you like. Uh, and um, they last really long time. And they have great, great tethering distance, at least 30 feet. So on your arm, you're not going to have any problem whatsoever. Uh, you got the buttons that you can touch. They're easy to see there. You tap them and you can change, pause. You can uh, answer calls. You can activate your voice assistant. You can do all of that directly from the earbuds right from the watch. And they're good, good quality. And when you don't need them, you can switch it right back to the watch speakers and play everything right from the watch itself. Well, let's show you how all this works with the app now. It's called the V-Band. This is the Google Play Store. Just search for this or use the link in the show notes down below. After you get it all going and set up, you get into it, you'll see you got... Uh data and it's updating right now live as we go you've got your weather forecast fahrenheit or centigrade here your overall step count when you get into it it's showing you when those steps were accumulated and all the other information on a daily basis weekly monthly or annually so you got quite a bit of uh entered information here for body temperature now you can start testing on any of these right away remotely. So perfect for somebody that's convalescing with an infectious disease and you don't want to be near them, but you want to check their temperature. Have them wear this, be within Bluetooth range, and you can you can do it right away. When you tap here, you're getting the cumulative uh, bar chart of sorts. That's not really easy to decipher, but then we're looking at 98 minimum 95 and there's no scale on the side so a little weak on this but generally you can um, get the information you need from your maximum and minimum and current uh, readings that you can get right straight from that screen but that's for body temperature that's here steps body temperature whoops uh, sleep last night's sleep time it's a copious chart shows you lots of information you've got awake time light sleep and deep sleep and any of these you tap on and in really tiny print it shows you you're awake you're light you're deep no rim sleep on this one but a good a good breakdown of uh the times that you were in these different sleep zones it's not actually showing beginning and ending but you can get that by tapping right here and see when the first and the last date are again you've got a day week and month when you go into here you're getting a bar chart three colors showing you the percentage of each so hopefully if you want to maximize your deep sleep you can focus on increasing that red bar because it'll always be at the bottom nice now Heart rate, we do have continuous heart rate and you have individual uh, heart rate by testing here. There's your cumulative from midnight forward, midnight 10, 20, 30. Yeah, okay, and, and you can't really squeeze it or expand it, but they're really close together. There's some higher readings. It smooths everything out. You're not seeing a lot of jagged stuff going on. Uh, maximum, minimum, average heart rate over the period that you've got set, uh, and you'll be able to contour how frequently it's testing for this as well. That's heart rate detection. I think I can, no, I can't slide between panels. I have to go back to the previous page. Heart rate, blood pressure again you can take an instantaneous reading and you can look at your systolic diastolic over time here these are individual readings now it's not doing continuous so each reading is shown as the time and these are on i think different dates so uh, maybe not there's weekly oh interesting okay um, that's how it's showing the readings uh, for blood pressure Again, check all of this stuff against your calibrated cuff and stuff like that. Blood oxygen, again, um, you can do your measurements right here, and you'll get your cumulative right here. I think I may have had some from yesterday. There you go on the third, and there's those readings, and you can get your weekly readings and monthly and year as well. And so that's blood oxygen. So all of those readings are there. GPS running. Now, when you get in here, it's going to take you over to a training page. You have to set a target 
which is going to be in minutes, confirm the target, and then you can start training. And it'll be tracking your uh, path here on the app uh, during that workout. But it's only a training thing, whatever that training is, lifting weights, running, swimming, well, don't swim with the watch unless you know it's waterproof. I don't think it is. Not with these guys in here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't risk it. Um, but that's what you get there. So those are all of your different categories that are available. The device is the T92. You can select different dials from it. You have a dial library. That's the one we're using right now. Here's a bunch more. And you have... a. Uh, you have custom dial that you can create your own if you want to with either analog or digital and, and put your own picture on there and you can set it up to show the date as well um, in your custom dials. So those are available and we'll, we'll show you a few of, the, uh, of them on here in a moment. Um, message reminder, of course, for pushing messages from the phone. There you set all that up. Give permissions, alarm clocks, remote camera. So this acts as a trigger to take a picture with the camera inside your phone. And then other settings, which is where you can do your 12, 24 hour time, your metric, uh, oh, I'm sorry, your Fahrenheit uh, centigrade or Celsius for temperature, finding your bracelet, you can do do not disturb and bracket it with different times that you want to. A lot of, lot of flexibility, sedentary, drink water. They're just repeating timers. Heart rate setting uh, is turned on with an interval. And here's where I'm saying you can adjust the interval from 10 minutes to 60 minutes um, for how often you want it to take uh, your heart rate and your body temperature. Those are the two that it will track raise your screen to see the time and that turns it on and this is this is a fun one it's switched automatically now back to my favorite face i'll show you that in a second here where you can uh, sync your contacts i don't want to get into that and of course reset everything as well and then you uh where you put in your personal information uh, i always try to go for female gender just in case it also supports period uh, information tracking which this one does not. And if you go mail, it's not going to show you any of that stuff. Target steps, feedback, and about. And that's pretty much the overall app. Now, back to the watch itself. Here we go with this interesting watch face. You see the heart rate there. It's a big digit. Uh, and, and it's really prominent. And um, this one I like because you got the time and the heart rate. So if you're tracking heart rate, it's really easy to see. Power level 100%. I haven't charged it since two days ago. And I've worn it overnight and did a lot of work with it yesterday as well. And here it is afternoon on the next day. And it hasn't dropped from 100%. So long battery life. you got all that information here. When you press and hold, you can switch to other faces. Just to show you what's available. We can page through these. I haven't had it on and let it calibrate for doing the, uh, the temperature carefully. But you got a feel for what it looked like. Uh, earlier and it yeah once you've got it calibrated this is a fun one um, then you know that the temperature is more reliable that's easy to check you know comparing with the thermometer and of course it's taking skin temperature as opposed to internal body temperature so you have to kind of account for all of that stuff here's another one with a little bit of animation going in it so you got a good selection of uh, overall watch faces as well and with these really nice sounding earbuds and all the capabilities it has and the sexy band i like it. it so far of all the ones with earbuds in them and the fact that this has memory that you can store about 10 15 different songs in the watch streamed through the speaker or through the earbuds tether this to your phone make phone calls um do all of that it, it, it's quite a watch and it's available from Cafico, it's the Limfo T92, okay, 1.28 inch IPS full color screen. They're calling it two in one, but really three in one with that internal memory in the watch, uh, smartwatch. By the way, if you guys don't know, you can if you can download your podcasts or books that you like to listen to, audio books, you can transfer all of that stuff over to the watch. And listen to it on the watch, not even having your phone around. Pretty darn good thing. And not a bad price overall for this, but check again for the discount in the show notes. We'll see you again later, gang. Thanks for watching.